Well, hi there, everybody. It's Sandy Almock, and I've got a little Bible journaling today in Psalm 23, which is a very well-known psalm. And I have journaled it several times in different Bibles, and this particular translation is the NIV, and the, some of the words were a little different than what I remember from my childhood and memorizing things, but you can use whatever translation you're using in your Bible. Sometimes I even write a different translation in my Bible journaling than is in the Bible that I'm working in, because I have a lot of different Bibles, and I just kind of choose whichever one is appropriate. And this particular idea I saw completed in my mind's eye when I was in church recently. We were singing a song about going through the valley and God is with us through the valley, through the darkness. He's right there with us. And I just saw this really deep cavern and walking at the bottom of it was me and Jesus. And I started just putting color in here. Now, I drew some pencil lines in there, but I'm showing you here that you don't have to have pencil lines. I'm going outside of them. I'm doing crazy things, just whatever my brush ends up doing. And I'm getting darker and muckier colors as I get toward the top. Because, you know, in the, the psalm, it's this is the valley of the shadow of evil and death, and it's horrible, and it's yucky things that are up there. So I'm trying to make the edges of the cliffs really jagged and I want to make the colors yucky. And right now the colors are kind of nice. So I'm going to throw in some green in there. I'm going to throw in some, or rinse my brush off and throw in some brown and just kind of make a mucky mess of it, leaving just that yellow glow where I'm going to be walking with Jesus in the bottom of the valley. And I want to show you something about watercolor because this is something that just on a regular basis, I end up finding out and remembering. I decided to add some texture to it with a baby wipe. So I'm just tapping some off. I tapped a lot of color off. And in addition to that, I dried it while it was still wet. And so in addition to all of this color that I was lifting, I put this piece of paper over it, it's still wet. And when I ironed it for a couple seconds, I just ironed things to flatten them out then a lot of the color came up on my paper. So now I'm left with very little color left on my Bible page, just paint right over top of it. So I'm gonna do the same thing that I already did previously and mushy colors, kind of throw them in there and, and get them all mucked up and add some texture to it. And there is no skill needed for this painting other than put a lot of color in there. And with watercolor, you can usually go pretty heavy before it starts even showing it all through the other side. Uh, this didn't actually show through the other side at all in my Bible. I'm throwing in some browns and greens and getting as mushy as I can. And I'll reaffirm that yellow at the bottom because even the yellow got really soft. And the edges, I'm just kind of letting them be rough rocks. I am going to clean that up at the very end. So. This is a, an easy painting technique where you don't have to think about that and be careful about painting inside of lines because you're going to put the lines in later. So now we've got this wonderful glow coming from the bottom and all of the storm and the, the death and the valley and the everything is up above. And it's nice and dark, which means I'm going to be able to use a white pen on it. But I'm going to dab just a little bit to add that texture back in. And then I'm going to let it completely dry before doing anything else to it. Because now it's dry, I can iron it and flatten it, and I'm not gonna lose any color. See all the color that's on there right now is the color that I picked up when I ended up ironing it earlier. And none of this color then disappeared. So next is going to be to draw me and Jesus in the bottom of this, this crazy valley. And I decided to just Draw him a little taller than me. I, I picture Jesus being taller if we were walking side by side. And literally I'm doing kind of exaggerated stick figures. I did a triangle for the body, a couple little legs sticking out. I gave him a robe and just two little kind of arms hanging down from each of us so that we're connected and walking together. And then I drew the shepherd's crook for Jesus right there. And... I made them really tiny. I mean, if you make your characters really tiny, then you can get away with little teeny tiny stick figures and not have to have 
fancy drawing skills in order to be able to do something like this. So now with my black pen, this is a micron pen, I'm drawing lines around the outside edges and you can see they're all kind of rough and that's what you want in something like this because it's a rocky cliff on either side and you can draw some lines in there you can make some shapes of actual rocks in a few places don't make too many because then it'll get too busy but if you just draw a few rocks in then it gives that impression of being a rocky cliff on either side and so I'll do the same thing all the way up on both sides, just adding a few rocks here and there, but not a whole lot of detail. Now, whatever your layout is for Psalm 23 in your Bible, because all the different typographers lay them out differently, yours may be shaped a little differently to avoid the text and be able to keep all of the, the, uh, the cavern here on the side outside of the, uh, the text. Now I wrote out on a piece of vellum, you could do it on tracing paper or on anything else, how I want the words to lay out because I want to have just really simple text and I can't see any of the lines here, but I can see them off to the right hand side, just the ends of them. So I took a little ruler, it's a rolling ruler, I got it just at a, you know, I think it was an office supply store or something or I got it when they had kids supplies out for the first day of school a couple years ago and just made some lines so I could kind of have something general to follow along. And since I had my words written out on another piece of paper, I knew which ones, how many words were gonna be on each line. Now, they're not still even, and that's okay. I don't worry too much about that. I really want to focus on what the point is of this and remembering that moment when in that service, God told me he's with me through the, the ugliest valleys. He's going to walk with me. And that's the important part of Bible journaling. I'll see you guys again next week. Bye-bye.